You know what they say, uh, you keep the best quack for last, so let's get quacking on. Today I'll be talking a bit about uh, some data, data engineering use case with DuckDB in healthcare. So something about me, uh, I'm a data engineering consultant. I consult healthcare and biotechs on their data engineering strategy. I'm going to talk today about a use case uh, at Curative, which is a leading health service provider in the United States, focusing on bringing a new health plan in the market uh, that improves things through engagement, cost, and transparency. So, just a very quick overview of what the tech stack is. We'll have various sources like APIs, Kafka streams, upstream databases. We will load this through SaaS tools like Fivetread or an orchestrator that we have Prefect plus DBT. We get that into Snowflake uh, and then we transform with uh, DBT. And we generate some reports like PDFs, Looker dashboards, uh, eligibility files, you name it. Um, so, one of the use cases I wanted to talk about is uh, data protection. So, as you can imagine, in healthcare, we're dealing with a lot of PHI and PII. So, we have a lot of accreditations that we need uh, to uh, implement a lot of security practices for. Think of HIPAA, HITECH, FedRAMP, SOC2, and a whole bunch of others. And as a part of this strategy, we've uh, developed a uh, dynamic data masking system that allows us to uh, mask over 10,000 tables and views and 100,000 columns uh, for our various different data sources. Uh, and this allows us to essentially say whenever someone's querying the data based on some metadata of this user, are they able to see the data or not? So very quickly how this works is an analytics engineer might have a pull request against GitHub, go through a CI pipeline on BuildKite. We use Prefect plus DBT to build this out into Snowflake. And uh, we then have DBT artifacts generated. And as we are defining all the, um, let's say, policies through the YAMLs in DBT, we can then essentially uh, join that data together from uh, Snowflake and, Doug, uh, and DBT with DuckDB to generate the SQL statements we need to actually apply these masking policies. So for this, we use uh, tag-based dynamic data masking in Snowflake. So essentially, just add tags to your objects. And then uh, if you configure it right, the dynamic data masking policy is automatically attached. Now, initially, we've done this purely in DBT and took us almost two hours <laughs> in production, which was <laughs> slow. Uh, but with DuckDB, as you can see, it was five minutes. Most of the time was spent getting the data in and out of Snowflake. So it's just <laughs> um, the second use case I want to highlight quickly is integrating healthcare data. So as I mentioned before, we also have upstream databases. So these are operational databases that have all kinds of data uh, from the health plan. And we essentially want to get this stuff out quickly and reliably. Uh, and in, in some cases, that means that we need to build our own to really uh, build it to the standards that we want. So here, we've also used DuckDB as more of a pipelining tool. So you might have some upstream databases. We use SQL Alchemy to extract that data out. Uh, we create some error streams uh, that we can then uh, just stream into DuckDB very efficiently, do some light transformations, uh, resolve the schemas, and uh, eventually write it out to Parquet on S3, which we can then easily dump into Snowflake. And the nice thing about this is we have uh, the Datadog integration of most of these steps. So we're able to do a lot of a APM profiling, query latency analyses to really see uh, where the bottlenecks are in our process. And we're also working on getting some DuckDB profiling data included in there as well. So that was my lightning talk. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Um, we have a, a question that I'm also curious about. Uh, <laughs> how do you get data from Snowflake to DuckDB? Oh, if yeah. anybody wanted to do that. <laughs> Why would you want to do yeah, that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting question. So there's a few ways to do it. But what we do is we basically use the Snowflake connector to extract out uh, batches of arrow data. They just support that. And then with some small modifications, you can create a record batch reader that goes straight into DuckDB. It takes some engineering. It's not like out of the box, but yeah, it's also not too terrible. Very nice. Um, and maybe one more. Um, have you looked at replacing DBT with SQL Mesh in your package? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know these things. The answer is yes, uh, but it, it will take some time to test it out. Um, that's the answer there, yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks again, and uh, excellent talk. Thank you.